Welcome back to SOS. I'm Stassi Badass. All right, today I'm going to talk to you about a super affordable shotgun. Okay, you can get this shotgun for roughly around ninety to ninety-nine bucks. It depends on where you buy it from. They even sell them at Walmart. Okay, it's the Hatfield, and I'm going to show you some of the mods I made to mine. And if you're into this sort of thing it'll be something that you'll like and uh, I've got some short lane adapters for you and we'll talk about some calibers and how you can fit this bugger in your bug out bag is that enough bees <laughs> alright pull you over here I know a lot of you have been asking questions about this and I've been working on it for a while putting together the doing all the leather work for it and, and stuff like that I wanted a shell carry for it so I did this side saddle and it's it's double stitched and I've weather sealed everything it's double stitched in the back and weather sealed the video would have took me hours to make so I just didn't bother making the video on making this side saddle but I am doing a follow-up and I'm gonna show you that it's just like the the uh, side saddle video that I made so I didn't want to bore anyone but this time I actually I actually double stitched all the way around that's your Viking style compass that everybody likes to get a tattoo of and things like that I thought that would be a nice touch to this shotgun and once again it goes back to my etching video where I actually take a picture of something and you lay it out and you do draw it over it like that but this is for anyone who's getting into firearms and things like that and they want to save a save a few bucks they want something for a bug out bag this is a great choice for a bug out bag shotgun because of short lane adapters and I'm gonna get into that in just a second but the modifications I made to this was, uh, you know, simply, you know, doing simple stuff to make it a little bit shorter on the back end here with the stock and everything. And uh, I did some modifications so that I, I loosened, uh, I loosened the neck just a tad bit so that it moves a little bit easier. The other modification that I did, see how it's coming all the way close to this back butt stock. In order to do that with the half field, you've got to countersink. You've got to countersink this screw. So you just simply pull it out, and you don't go too far into it. You just slightly go into it and make it to where it. Just keep test fitting it until it sets flush, and then once it once it sets flush, then you've got something good. That way, you don't have to worry about that screw hitting here. It won't bend this far back when you get one. It usually is right about here is about where it goes but I wanted to be able to collapse it all the way and I wanted these strings here a lot of people are asking you know about the why do all the leather well this is so you can tie it you can tie it here you tie it up and that keeps it from opening up on you all I do to get the you don't have to do anything crazy I watch there's a dude out there he actually grinded this part down that's that's your that's your release for your brake you you don't want to go grinding that down but this person had grinded that down don't do that do something simple all you got to do is drill yourself a hole you drill a hole right there and then put a little divot just take the drill bit drill in take it lean it just a little bit and it makes a notch well it allows it to go all the way in at that point that's all you got to do and you'll see where this is hitting the wood because it leaves a mark inside there where it's actually hitting so you know where to set the drill bit pretty simple stuff I didn't want to I didn't want to bore you too much with it I didn't know how many people actually like the design and stuff but if you go back and watch my etching leather videos and things like that it gives you an example of, of how to do this basically you just take a picture 
and lay it on there and then etch it into it and then burn it into the leather. But you can cut into leather like this. We all know that. But this is kind of how I wanted to do it. Did a simple design up here. But real simple. Simple design. I thought it would be good for post-apocalyptic world. It is a 12 gauge. They make this in um, all your gauges. So different, different gauges for you. There's my 12 gauge slugs that I just keep up here. I only need... I only need three up here. I didn't want to make this thing too huge. If you go too far, it only holds so many. So, all right. So let's get into short lane real quick. Let's go ahead and just lay this down right here. I can kind of show you this. Now, short lane had watched some of my videos. I was in, I was surprised. They they watched my videos on all the short lane adapter stuff that I was doing because I I test shot the. I, yeah, everybody knows here that I've got the judge and I have uh, all the adapters for the judge and I went out and I, I test shot all the different calibers from the judge from you've got your your 22 you've got your 9 mil you've got your 380 you've got your 32 mag and uh, you've got your 38 special so everybody watched the videos of, of me doing all the I even did one gun one knife video about a while back with uh, that involved short lane adapters so since they saw all the work I was doing with with short lane and well this is uh, gunadapters.com for those of you who need to know they sent me a really nice letter you know the usual uh, hey BA let's let's get together and have a barbecue uh, you're the best and uh, all that stuff and if I ever have a pet I'm naming it after you you know, there's just simple stuff that they always write, but that isn't what it says. But anyways, but they wrote me a nice letter and they sent me some adapters because they were just being nice. And I thought that was cool. I did make a lot of videos on short lane adapters, but I did say I was a big groupie of, of short lane adapters, so I kind of did it to myself. But anyway, this here will work in a pump or in a uh, single barrel like this or a double barrel it doesn't matter what as long as it's 12 gauge but this will uh, this will work this is a 12 to 20 gauge so if you've got a you've already got your 12 gauge right you can see it okay all right you can see it okay so you've already got your 12 gauge right well what about what about a 20 gauge so all you do to shoot 20 gauge drop that in there just like that now you've got 20 gauge okay so I can shoot 20 gauge if I run out of 12 and I find 20 gauge I just slide that guy in there and I'm good to go alright so there's that one it comes with this uh, this is their 4-in-1 gauge kit for those of you that want to know you can just buy the 4-in-1 ga gauge kit and you're all set as far as a lot of calibers but they make uh, they make their bug out bag series they've, they've got a whole series of uh, of uh, caliber adapters on their website and you can scroll through them they even make one for uh, converting a, uh, a a shotgun like this over to a muzzle loader which is one that I would love to have the one for muzzle loader because I'd love to be able to convert this over to a muzzle loader but they've got so many different calibers all right so real quick next one is what if I find 28 gauge there's your there's your 12 gauge 28 gauge just like that boom I'm shooting 28 gauge all right next up now this is gonna be the fun one this is all right so another another thing that you can use this for another useful item what about my son all right my son's wanting to get into shooting shotguns okay so what if what if what if and you've got a kid out there you're not gonna hand them your 12 gauge to shoot for the first time you have to go buy another shotgun why would you do that? You can you can grab this one. This is the 12 gauge to 410 45 Colt. Boom. You see where this is going, right? Now that I've got that in there, well, what if I want to shoot 22? I already have these adapters. It's for 410 45 Colt. Let's shoot 22 out of my <laughs> There we go. So you see how this looks. I'll pull it up here so you can see it. Alright, so there's my 22. 
So now I can shoot 22. That's cool, huh? I thought it was cool. All right, what's this one here? Let's see. All right, there's your 32 mag. There's my 32 mag. What's this one here? There's your uh, 380 ACP. Now I'm shooting 380. See what we got here. We've got 38 special. Boom. There's your 38 special. I said before, 38 special. Boom. Just like that. You're shooting 38 special. Isn't that rad? That's pretty cool, huh? That is the ultimate bug out prep right there. All right. Next up. Now I got my 9mm. So I got my 9mm. Let me grab a 9mm. Boom. Show you what that looks like. And there's your 9mm. That's what that looks like. All right, let's do the 22 one more time to show you what that looks like. Now I'm taking this to the range, okay? I'm gonna be doing this at the range. I'm actually going to be firing different. Let's go ahead and set a 22 in there for you. 22 LR right there. There you go. Let's go ahead and get this out of here. Set that over there. All right, and then just, just, just cause. There's your 410. There's your 410 just like that. And then there's your 45 Colt. There you go. Just like that. Now you see, you can see already the importance of this, and it goes on and on and on and on and on. And from all their all their adapters that they have, it goes on and on and on and on, right? So that now they do make um rifled, so they do make rifled uh adapters. They do make the longer ones that go down the barrel. I think it's roughly around yay much or so. I'm not sure the exact length of them, so I don't want to lie to you. But um, they make all the different adapters in different lengths, and they're rifling and all that other stuff. So basically, you can convert a uh, shotgun over now, not a pump. If you have the longer ones, you can't use the pump. So it would be a break action, so a, a side by side or an over and under or a single barrel. You just slide it in there or I'm pretty sure the uh, they do make a three barrel. There is a three barrel version of a shotgun, a 12 gauge, out there that you could use. But you could you could basically load one of those into this, turn it into like a carbine type ordeal, and I could use. They've got the adapter for the 45 ACP, all that good stuff, man. It goes on and on and on. Now, like, so basically, I'm gonna put the link. In, in the bottom so you guys can go check it out this is uh you guys have heard me talk about this stuff for a long time but now if you wanted to get just say you wanted the 22 adapter the 22 adapters right there you know they've got um you can get just that caliber so you're not doing like me see me i have the benefit of doing this what i'm doing here because i already have a judge okay so i already have the judge but you can get this kit cheap it's really affordable stuff okay so you can get the 410 setup it's lighter and then if you if you are getting this and then you get this with it these are your adapters right these are your adapters for your 410 so you can shoot 410 and you can shoot all these other calibers you, you get what i'm saying right now I, I this one uh, this one will give you just a little bit of trouble with the pump you know cycling it into uh, the chamber but you can manually feed this one and it will eject just so you know this will feed into a pump and will eject from a pump I, I want people to know that so that they're not you know skeptic on it and be like oh well will that work in a pump yes it will work in a pump I've already played around with it quite a bit and uh, then there's this one here actually hang on Okay, so I'm going to be extremely ridiculous and grab the most ridiculous shotgun that we own. <laughs> You've got to do that, right? That's what we got to do. All right. Okay, so just, just out of curiosity, let's drop this in here real quick. Let's see if that goes in there. There we go. Let's see. It's in there. All right. All right, so you saw me, saw me put it in there. There it is. And there it goes. It's really hard to do this in front of a camera. Then let's eject. And there it is. So there you go. Like I said, it will eject. So you can load it into... Let's do it one more time for you. It's been a while since I pumped this one. It's been sitting in there for a while. 
Okay, so there it is. Let's see what happens. Whoops, hang on. I didn't push it all the way in there. Okay, I show my mistakes. Okay, she's in. All right, you saw me drop it in there. Just like that. And I dropped it on the floor. But that's all right. But like I said with the others, these I, uh, when, when in chambering, I think it's just this bevel here. But uh, it's a lot easier to put these in just manually. You open her up and just slide her in, and then it'll eject and it'll fall. So you just grab it. But anyway, I'd be manually loading these anyways for a pump. And it won't take you a lot of time, but it is a good resource to have. So I can convert a 12 gauge over to a 20 gauge or a 28 gauge, you know, on and on and on. They've got other calibers besides these three. These are these these three for the 12 gauge that uh, come in the four in one gauge kit. And this company is Brown Coat Tactical that makes this for to carry these. And uh, lots of good stuff. But I thought I would share this with you for those of you that want to get into this stuff to get a firearm for your preps and like I said before the shotgun is the ultimate prep a reloader for shotgun reloading is about 46 bucks the Lee load all two you guys see it behind me every day I make a video the Lee load all two and you get yourself some powder and you start you can get your uh, you can make your own projectiles and start your own reloading plenty of reloading data out there from the websites that actually make gunpowder will actually give you data so the ultimate prep I mean even if you spent the high end it would be 99 bucks for this shotgun so you can get that at freaking Wally World wherever it doesn't matter what sporting goods store you walk in they've got a half field I'm pretty sure they have boxes of them in the back and for those of you guys and gals out there that collected the Moise and Nagants for you know under 90 bucks well this is the same category for the most part because this shotgun comes from turkey most people don't know that either anyways but that's that's my little owner's manual and i was just it's real simple stuff easy to clean and take care of you got one barrel to take care of your safety is right there that's all there is to it there's your hammer pull it back pull the trigger it always works so there's no malfunction issues with a pump and but there you go. Pretty simple stuff. And for those of you guys and gals that are trying to save a buck and but still prep and have something for security and things like that, this is where it's at right here. I mean, I that's not <laughs> there's no there's no better deals than that. I'm just saying that's that's an extremely good deal to get something like that. And I'm going to have I'm going to have this at the range and I'm bringing all the adapters once I gather everything up that I need so I can have a range day. But I want to do a range day uh, soon and I want to be able to take all this stuff with me, all the different calibers, and we'll do some, some testing, just play around like I've done before. But I'm going to do that with uh, this shotgun here. Hope you liked it. You're watching SOS. Oh, if you like this, Please hit the like button and please share it with your friends, your buddies, your cats, your dogs, everybody else out there, Keebler Elves, I don't care who watches, whatever you got hanging out in your neck of the woods. But uh, like I said, you're watching SOS. I'm Stop Sergeant Badass. Have a beautiful, fabulous, fantastic day and take it easy.